Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You may have heard of a function in your computer called the clipboard. And you can imagine this as a, a real clipboard where you can cut or copy items to temporarily and then in the future paste them somewhere else. So let's say you're editing uh, an email or a Word document and you want to move a bit of text from the top to the bottom of a page. You could highlight that text, cut it, or essentially place it from the document onto that virtual clipboard and then at a later place in that document or any other document for that matter you could paste that same text cut copy and paste these are very basic clipboard features and if you're not cutting copying and pasting you're you're really missing out on everything that computer can provide for you there's a clipboard inside of windows and there's a clipboard inside of mac as well and to access the clipboard uh, well first you need to either cut or copy something and then at some point you would be able to paste it if you cut something it essentially removes it if you copy it well it still stays there but it's still on the clipboard now there are keyboard shortcuts that make it even easier for you to manage your clipboard uh, cut is control x Copy is control C, and paste is control V. Control X, control C, control V. Really simple to use. Now, if you happen to be using a Mac, instead of control X, C, V, you would use command, and that's the uh, key that's got the weird squiggly and the open apple sitting in it, but it's still the same. C, copy, X, cut, and V, paste. It may take you a while to get used to it, but once you start using cut, copy, and paste, you'll wonder how you got along without it. We'll see you later.